Hello viewers, the next one in the, the series on uh, edible, some edible fruit trees, uh, whether you're cultivating them or you find them growing in the wild, going feral so to say. Uh, this one here is a Lisbon lemon tree. Now we've got a lot of uh, citrus trees growing in our place, but the history of uh, citrus trees it goes back a long long way particularly in Asia and that's where most of them originated from India, Myanmar and some some parts of China and of course they were spread to uh, European countries you know through the ancient trade routes in the Asian cultures uh, it's not only the fruit these are, are very mature at the moment uh, that was most uh, commonly used and that was you know, led on to uh, when these plants or these trees were spread by the ancient trade routes into Europe uh, it was people mostly concentrated on the fruits but there are other parts of the tree that are also edible too and in seasons where the tree may not be fruiting as much as say the previous seasons or there are other parts of, of this citrus tree and many other citrus trees that are edible and uh, it's quite uh, common to find it in, in the Asian cultures certainly more uh, these times with uh, European uh, cooking um, uh, they are starting to use other parts of the plant the thing is, is, is if you're a homesteader or a prepper or whatever and you're out there foraging and that sort of thing and you find these trees growing wild and I have found some um, a few miles uh, southeast of here in the bush around an old homestead that's no longer well it's abandoned I did find some lemon trees and the edible parts of it first off that's that's the bloom or the, or the flower these are also edible let's get a close up of that Okay, got a very distinct lemon flavour as you would expect, a bit chewy, um, here's one under here that's actually open, and yeah, the petal fell off it, but anyway, that's it there, initially you get the lemon flavour, and then it gets a bit bitter but you can also eat the leaves and it's used a lot in cooking these do have a lot of nutrients in it and of course medicinal uh, uses too but I suggest you thoroughly research that it's not bad, not bad, a bit chewy, but you can cook them, steam them, whatever. Um, look up recipes online, these older leaves, slice and dice them, or the younger ones. These older ones will be as tough as leather, but uh, this is just one of them. You know, we do have orange trees here. Um, mandarins, pomelo, uh, quite a variety of oranges actually, and the lemonade tree. Please do the research on it, and I'll put some links in in the description box down there. And uh, make sure that uh, these leaves or the trees, if they're growing in an orchard situation. They aren't being um, treated with pesticides or fungicides because it does make the leaves and the flowers to uh, toxic to eat. Usually in, uh, when you find them growing in wild in the bush, you're pretty safe. Um, give the leaves a good wash. They have dust and things on them. And 
it doesn't mean you strip the whole tree of leaves or the flower buds. In fact, some of these trees, uh, when they're budding up like this, and they do it on commercial orchards sometimes, is that they actually debud it to reduce the number of buds on there. Some of these, and when they're pollinated, they'll, they'll fall off, or you know, the tree does its own thing. But it doesn't mean strip the whole tree of, of uh, flowers and leaves and that sort of thing because then it reduces your, your fruit crop. But it's just another idea. A lot of nutrition in the flowers and the leaves as well as the, the fruit. So that's something to think about. Whether you're growing your own, um, you find them growing wild in the bush or the woods, those sort of places. Very nutritious. And it's another food resource uh, that you could possibly look at, not only for the fruit, but for the flowers and the, the, the um, leaves and the you know, flower buds on it. Something to think about. Um, I've done it in the past. I've been hiking around and found these wild in the bush. And uh, still kicking, still breathing. Alright, thanks for watching folks.